Thank you so much for tuning into the video. But before we do get into the reaction, I want to take a quick moment to say a special thanks to my members whose names will be appearing on screen now. If you would like your name to be there, then look in the description down below for the various membership tiers that I have, which includes just a shout out supporter, there's the progressive overload where I will do a bi-weekly live stream with you guys. And then there's the progressive overload which has obviously got the shout out, the live stream, as well as I do members only videos. These are all kinds of videos. Sometimes it's recipes. Usually it's just little life updates. They're a little bit more personal. So if you're interested in joining, then feel free to join below. If you don't feel like becoming a member, but you do want to support the channel, then what you can do is you can send super thanks, which is a recent option that YouTube has enabled. And also, of course, you can support the channel by watching the videos, giving them a like, leave a comment if you want. And yeah, on that note, I hope you enjoy the video. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. My name is Ilona, I'm also known as Shikara Transformations. I'm an online health and fitness coach and I'm also a bodybuilder. And uh, today we are going to look at some Tammy Lemon. Now, I've got a very needy kitty on my lap again and I am aware of the fact that I play around with the mic too much. Um, so I will try and keep it at the same distance all the time so that it's not annoying for you and the hard, harder for me in edit basically trying to keep the levels the same so shall we say hi to violet gray violet there you go some head bobs to start your day well to start my day anyway I am at the time of filming this 11 days out from my bodybuilding show and it's been quite hard the last few days I'm not gonna lie like my weight's gone up as well but I think it's because I'm ovulating so but I'm getting a bit of a I like enough now I am getting a bit of a refeed today so hopefully that will a help with my energy and b maybe boost my metabolism a little, little bit we will see if you are curious to see what my bodybuilding journey is like to the stage then check it out i have a dedicated playlist uh i do full days of eating as well as weekly vlogs not sure if i'll do a full day of eating this week i might do i'm not sure yet regardless if you want to see what that's all about uh, what my life is kind of like cats dogs cat dogs training you know those sort of things then yeah uh check that out and besides that point I, I don't really have anything to add so let's get into the video shall we um tammy is kind of like a friend of the channel i suppose i like her she's um she obviously has a lot of struggles but she's always very honest and transparent and i always appreciate people that are honest and transparent even if they keep fucking up like at the end of the day at least they're honest and um, it's just uh, a, a trait that i really appreciate in people so this video is a few weeks old now. It's called the panic right before having to eat. So I'll be interested to see what that's all about. I'm guessing this is to do with her recovery from binge eating. And uh, you know, I guess sometimes you have to maybe force yourself to eat so you don't have periods of, um, so you don't put yourself into a place where you're starving and then you overeat and then you feel guilty. And then it continues just being like a, a negative cycle like that. So um, let's uh, see what she has to say. Hello, little lemon. So I did a poll recently where I asked you guys if you wanted to see some of my older footage. I have had a period where I wasn't doing very well and I didn't upload, but I did film a few clips here. I'll be honest though guys i am definitely a dog person like don't get me wrong like i love my cat but i do find her a bit annoying at times like now for example she's very she's always like jumping onto things she has a habit to like pee in places she shouldn't i am getting her neutered i just need to wait for the doctor's appointment and i know there's lots of vets in sofia but if you live in bulgaria you know you can't just go to somewhere and do things you need to go on referrals from people because if not you basically get messed around uh, people will not do a good job or people will just um add in additional fees to bills so if you live like this is not it's not a good or a bad thing it's just stating a fact that in bulgaria you can't just get work done by people you need to go on referrals from people basically uh recommendations 
So I, I did speak to Yvette a few weeks ago and uh, I'm just waiting for a call from them basically. So I can get her neutered and hopefully that will calm her down a little bit. But some people were saying it's also because she's a street cat. They have like slightly wilder temperaments. I mean, she's adorable. She's sweet. She's adorable and sweet. But I'm, I'm, I'm definitely more of a dog person, you know, like, I don't know. But then she's being a little cutie pie now. So it's like, she's just like a little bit annoying. She's a little bit more annoying than the dog sometimes. That's all. <laughs> Here and there. So this video will be older footage which uh, is filmed back in February. I think it's important though to show this video because I was going through a hard time. The footage that I'm showing here is like binging, struggling, so I think it's very important to show that. And um, yeah, so that's what this video is about. Enjoy this video. It's a little bit weird to say that, like it's about struggling and stuff, but you know what I mean. Um, enjoy this video and I'll talk to you later. Hello uh, Lemons, so um, I am not feeling very good right now. I am feeling very panicky since like 2 p.m. or something and um, it started out with a feeling. It all started with like me feeling down depressed. I think it's i think what i like about her is that she does show herself when she's having these moments of not feeling great because like even myself when i'm like i'm fairly comfortable with it now because i've done it like for quite some time when i vlog but a lot of people that go through health journeys or weight loss journeys or whatever it may be uh they are it's almost like they're afraid to show like a vulnerable side or to film themselves when they're feeling down or when they're like almost about to cry or when they're just not in the right mindset or mind frame or mind space or whatever and it's nice to see that she is somebody who does kind of pick up the camera and just talk through how she's feeling at that time in that moment and not just retrospectively and that like, I don't know, I think it takes like balls to some degree, you know, because it's not easy to do. But at the same time, it is it is good to see because you understand. Um, I think it makes people more human. And it's also, it's relatable because everybody goes through it. Like maybe not necessarily exactly what she's going through. But the fact that she's picking it up and going like, look, I'm feeling anxious and I'm just like, I can't shift this feeling. I'm watching it and I can relate to it because I've had days of high anxiety for no particular reason. And it's difficult to try and shift that mind frame. First, I feel, you know, like I'm not having my day right now. I tried to um, distract myself. I played some Planet Zoo. I tried to do some Netflix. Then I just wanted to just sleep to make the feeling go away. Nothing really worked. Now that has turned into binge thoughts and I am thinking about going to the store and I am very desperate and I want to be honest about it and with desperate I mean really really desperate. I'm just feeling like shit. I do not like filming right now. You can hear it probably in my voice like I'm probably sounding like very nagging. I'm not in a good space right now. I just want to... I just wanted to stop. This has been going on since 2 p.m. and I'm so tired of just <sighs> everything I think. It's just... It the thing is as well, when you're in that space where you have anxiety, for me anyway, like I find it really difficult to shift and it literally only goes away with time. And sometimes that's an hour and sometimes that's just like a whole day. And you just walk around all day just feeling an edge, like you're gonna cry for no reason. Uh, dread you can't relax like everything's everything is just like you can't concentrate properly and there's nothing really you can do except for like within reason keep yourself busy and try and take your mind off it but that's not necessarily a guarantee either that that's gonna work it's just a case of you're distracting yourself with other thoughts as much as possible but that's, that anxiety feeling is still there. I mean, I suppose you could take medication, but that's not just readily available for most people. It's just negative. Like now I'm, th I'm saying in my head, like, yeah, you're such a cry baby. Just stop it already. Just stuff your face and stop it. Quit it.
don't feel sorry for yourself like feel sorry I don't think there's necessarily anything wrong either with sometimes talking to yourself like that like sometimes you do need to talk to yourself uh, and basically go like stop being a little cry baby because at the end of the day also sitting around and like feeling sorry for yourself like it doesn't fix anything you might as well just get on and do things like don't get me wrong sometimes it's good to just have days like that and just sit around and feel sorry for yourself and have a cry but that you can't let that escalate because then it just becomes a habit of feeling sorry for yourself and then you end up in a depression and like i'm not like i know that some people have like um, chemical imbalances etc but some depression or a lot of people have depression because of things that they're unhappy with within their lives and a lot of that can be controlled i'm not saying for everybody but you know some people do like some people are depressed about their situation their circumstances their relationship their job whatever it may be themselves and like all of that you can control within reason it's maybe not so easy but for the most part if you want to change things you can so i don't think there's something wrong either with just talking to yourself sometimes and just go like you're being a little pussy now sort it out basically because i mean i do that to myself but um maybe that's not, I don't know, maybe that's not healthy either <laughs> sorry for yourself but own it like go to the store stuff your face gain all the pounds and feel sorry for yourself again and um i'm just i'm going to I mean, like feel sorry for yourself and not go and eat obviously i don't i don't mean that but i think just to tell yourself to stop feeling sorry for yourself is one thing to go and eat loads of food no don't don't do that <laughs> stop it's it's very toxic i think to talk about this self-hate talk but it is there and i can't seem to distract myself or push it away and that makes me want to eat i have endured it for some hours and now i'm just at the point that i don't know what to do anymore and all i can think about right now is food not healthy food because i was hungry first so i ate some healthy stuff uh, so i'm not hungry anymore it's a mental hunger right now i can i can feel the difference really good i like i said i do not like recording this but it's good that she recognized the difference between a mental and a physical hunger and i think that's something that i notice a lot with people that i coach especially those that do struggle with obesity a lot of them can't necessarily differentiate initially between hunger and cravings and mental hunger and i think once you eat like a lot more whole foods you do start recognizing those differences and it's only when you start recognizing like oh i have a physical hunger versus a mental hunger or, or a mental hunger versus a physical hunger or i have a craving versus a hunger that's why you can start creating habits around that to change that um <clears throat> so a lot of what i do with my coaching is with a lot of what i do with my coaching it's not weight loss coaching i mean it happens of course it does happen but it's more about creating healthier habits and usually speaking when you have healthy habits and you have a an active lifestyle and you eat whole foods with that comes weight loss that's just like a natural side effect for the most part but for for the most part it is just creating understanding how food makes you feel eating whole foods how good it makes you feel how energized it makes you feel um the satiation you get from it and then recognizing like oh okay well now i feel like i have cravings and then you can go like what well, it's a craving a craving is not a hunger it's different and like whether you give into it or not is a different thing altogether but you can create like coping mechanisms around uh, mental hunger and cravings as opposed to real hunger i mean if you're really hungry you're hungry you should eat but you know if you're really hungry because if you're really hungry you'll eat like extra chicken or you know you'll eat just extra real food if, if you're really hungry you don't eat a chocolate bar you eat food food because you're hungry you want food you want nourishment this is something that like at this point i'm feeling so low so low right now and i do feel that very often right before a binge and it's something that i want to record because i like a lot of people probably feel this way and i want to show you like it's i don't know it's not normal in the sense of like you know what i mean but it, it happens and i want to show you that i'm just going to use up an entire bottle of deodorant i'm not particularly particularly i'm not particularly smelly or filthy like i've taken a shower yesterday not my hair but the rest of my body but i just feel as if i'm the most gross blah human in the world right now so i don't know it's not that much about 
facts. It's about how I'm feeling right now. And I'm feeling disgusting and gross and fat and stupid and dumb and a lot of other things. It's kind of sad, isn't it? To see somebody like talk to themselves like that. Uh, but I understand it. Like I've been there. And, you know, even for myself going through this prep, like I have days like that at the moment, like my weight's up and I'm just like, I've been sticking to my diet and I'm annoyed by it because my weight is up. Like I've, I kind of understand why, but at the same time, it's, you know, self-doubt. It happens. It's not nice. Um, I'm not quite, I don't talk to myself like that though, but I think we all, we, everybody goes through, or at least most people go through phases like that in their lives, or moments like that. Not maybe not a phase, because a phase is not good, but a moment like that where you just you're self-loathing, and it's kind of sad, really. It's like why would why do we do that to ourselves? Maybe in a way it keeps us grounded as well. Maybe in in a way, some element of occasional negative self-talk in small amounts in moderation is what keeps us grounded and stops us from being very arrogant human beings maybe i don't know because if you think you're amazing and you're perfect all the time you're a bit of an arsehole as well aren't you? <laughs> so it doesn't really matter what you do <laughs> but you, you know what i'm trying to say though right it's like people that think they're like impeccable and perfect they are a little bit annoying too I'm not saying she's annoying, but like they are a little bit annoying. That's that's what I meant to say. I'm not saying anybody that has like obviously. If, I'm not saying that anybody that has negative self talk is annoying, but I, yeah, I don't know. I, sl I slid that word in there by accident, guys. Sorry, it's early in the morning. I'm diet braining hard. Coffee is about to work soon. <laughs> so yeah, I don't think it's going to get any better than this, <sighs> but it's okay. So this is what I got so far. This is like my normal groceries. And then this is what I have bought so far to... Yeah, that's a hundred percent binge foods. And also, can we just appreciate these little speckies? These chimellos. Oh my god. They're so nice. That reminds me of being a kid. And those biscuits are nice too. Oh. So much good food. Um, binge on. So that's literally like um, her binge, right? Yeah. So lots of ice cream. And that ice cream is high in calories too. Ben and Jerry's. Wow. I I will I would I just refuse to buy Ben and Jerry's for that sole reason. Like I bought it once not realizing how many calories are in it. And when I realized how many calories, I was like, fuck that, I'm not having that again. Just lots of processed car processed simple carbs, eh? Some Easter things, donuts, cookies, crisps. No crisps. Oh, then I was that's for crisps for cookies, ice cream. So yeah. Oh. I mean, like I could fucking go for all of that as well at the moment, to be honest. This diet is like kicking my ass, but <laughs> I might do it for like another couple of months. We'll see. See what happens on this show. What my coach says. Okay, so it's storming here. The wind is so strong, like even with my weight, I was just throwing away my trash and I was having serious trouble with just not falling. I see the car next to me just going like this and the other one too. So this wind is really, really, really crazy. Like the whole car is shaking. It's really, really crazy. It's like, wow, I have never been in a storm like this. So I'm going to clean this thing because it is something that I should have done like, I don't know, two weeks ago. But um, yeah, I postponed and I'm going to do it right now. I'm also doing my dishes. I cleaned it and right now... It's such a nice feeling to clean and see the results after. I really like, I don't really mind cleaning a kitchen. I quite like cleaning kitchens and bathrooms. The one chore that I hate doing is putting away my washing or my laundry. I don't know why. I literally don't know why I hate putting away laundry. I just do. Um, I do do my laundry. I just like kind of let it all stack up. And then I've got like a massive pile of like folded laundry. And then it just lays in my spare bedroom for two weeks. <laughs> With the door closed so I don't see it. But no, like kitchens. I like cleaning kitchens. It's important for me because I could do a lot of cooking. So I like a clean kitchen and I like a clean bathroom too. I'm just, ooh. Now I'm going in relax mode. Aww, that's so cute.
lately they like to sleep together that's so cute pistache normally isn't the one to go and sleep like with another cat but lately he's very into cuddling with mucker we've got those foods again another binge food later this is at my best friend's place uh, is that the same foods so she got this a lot of the same things again unless they are still from the other day i mean if they're from the other day in a way maybe that's good because then she didn't eat everything i mean she's gonna eat it now but you know what i'm trying to say <laughs> go away hey lemon so i'm in my car i'm at stefan's place right now i did shower here but i didn't brush my hair because i forgot about my hairbrush but um yeah doesn't look too bad i just left to stefan i was a little bit in like a panicky mode and i forgot about my hairbrush i forgot about my medicine i forgot about all all things that i normally do not forget luckily i do have some extra medicine and stuff in my car like a toothbrush some medicine and stuff but uh yeah not a hairbrush but like i said it's okay we're going to do some like not groceries not food items but we're going to do some shopping i do feel a little bit better now so that's that's nice i did have a binge yesterday i think that's also one of the reasons that i do like spending time with stefan like we had a relationship for five years he's the only one that have has seen me binge like throughout my life and he doesn't support it or anything he's not like a feeder or whatever so don't worry about that but like i can be myself with him and i did have my binge and i don't know i don't think it's a good thing because like we make it into i don't know i'm just having my binge and he's also like eating a little bit on the side it does make it i don't know like a partner in crime or something i i, I think it's very good that we broke up because like that happened way too much like me binge Oh, I guess he's not necessarily enabling it, but he doesn't talk against it either. And I'm guessing he doesn't talk against it either, because either because she wants to binge, like the binge monster comes out, or it's the case of that he's just a very, um, like, sorry, I'm looking, not complacent, but like a very, uh, like a non confrontational person. So, like, maybe like almost a little bit enabling. But it's difficult, I guess, when you're in a situation with or you're in a relationship with somebody. It's like, what do you do? Like, do you engage the argument or do you just let them be? At the end of the day, people are adults. But then if you want somebody to do better for themselves, then you should say something about it. So, yeah, it's a difficult situation. Like, personally, I would say something about it. But then I am that kind of person. Well, actually, it depends. It depends, really. Um, it depends on the situation. If somebody's complaining to me about their if somebody's coming complaining to me about their situation and then they keep doing habits that are negative then i would say something about it but otherwise i probably wouldn't if that makes sense i don't know it's difficult like, i don't know i've never been in the situation so i can't really say um and i don't really know if it's even enabling or not if he doesn't talk against it maybe it is a little bit of enabling should should he say something i don't know to like to what extent do you get involved with your partner and you know like if it's good it's gonna cause arguments i don't know i guess it is a little bit enabling maybe i'm not sure dinner i have some mushrooms i have some what is courgette ook weer in engels i always courgette is courgette in english is zucchini in american <laughs> forget the word but uh, not an eggplant but the other one like the green one you know what i mean i've got some um garlic i've got some chicken i've got some of this stuff like we call this toge bean sprouts in english i've got this thing with like herbs this herb packet and we have got some noodles like some bami as we call it it's just really easy it's just pre-made stuff it's just Heating it up in the fridge and or heating it up in the pan and then it's ready. Nasi goreng and bami goreng is like Indonesian food. You get obviously a lot of Indonesian food in Holland from like colonies and stuff like that, but it's very nice. Very, very tasty. I haven't had it in years. My dad makes the best nasi. Here's what the meal looks like. Um, it looks delicious and I'm looking forward to eating. And bon appetit. It's a, it's a large meal, that. That's probably enough for like two or three people, I would say. So I wonder if she's going to eat that all in one go. But I would guess probably not, because that's a lot of food. 
and I do hope Satai Souls went on there. You can't have Bami without Satai Souls. That's just blasphemy. <laughs> in the first time in forever, we're allowed to shop without a mask. They've put the masks back here for like a couple of weeks. I don't know what that's all about, but I don't know. guess the end of summer, right? <laughs> I'm sure like COVID will become a problem. Apparently like it is on the rise again. Like I don't really know. Like I don't watch the news. I just went into the shop on there and they're like you need to wear a mask. I'm like why? I haven't had to wear a mask like for this whole entire year. Longer than that. And they're like yeah you have to wear masks again. I'm like since when? They're like today. I'm like oh, okay fine then. So I got some masks obviously. So I just took a bell pepper and the pepper. I opened it. I took out the seeds and they're just drying in the sun right now. Yeah this is typical Stewie. He's a little bit um He's a little bit dumb. <clears throat> Stewie, you're with your ass in my bell peppers. They're not going to grow from that. Choo -choo 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 -choo. Choo -choo. Oh, of course. So literally my cat in a nutshell, forever s sitting on things and grabbing things and jumping on things and crawling in things. Yeah, I guess that's just normal cat behavior, isn't it? Seeds are everywhere. I don't know if it's a pepper or a bell pepper. Well... We'll see. It will be a surprise. This is what my, uh, presumably, my peppers look like, but we'll see. I'm just going to cover the rest with some soil too, and that's it. Hey, Lamfam, so it's me again. Yeah. Look at how those peppers have grown. Good for her. I need to, I struggle keeping herbs alive, so. Yeah, I'm not, I don't really have green fingers. It's not really my thing. Um, Maybe one day when I have a house and a garden and stuff like that, but cool, like peppers I suppose, so you can just easily grow them, right? How does she do with the cats anyway? Like, I can't have real plants in my house. My cat just eats them. Yeah, yeah I wanted to update you really, really quick about my peppers and bell peppers. They are doing great, or well, my peppers are, because like my bell peppers died, I didn't take care of them. I laid in bed for a whole period of time and I already planted the peppers, but I did not plant the bell peppers. And yeah they died. Thank you for watching this video. I'll be back next week with another video and um, yeah, see you later. Bye lemons. Well, that was just a, a quick, quick little react. I wouldn't know what to add to that to be honest. I just like that she's, I don't know, I just hope she's doing a bit better. I know that the last reaction we did is that she came back after a few months and it was her highest weight. So hopefully she's managed to control her binge eating a little bit more and uh, lost some weight because <clears throat> I know she was quite unhappy about that and otherwise like I hope she continues on her recovery and keeps doing well or at least yeah keeps making progress for going anyway and uh, yeah that's it really so instant little pepper emoji if you've made it this far comment like subscribe dislike the video if you disliked it let me know down below why and I'll leave Tammy's channel below if you want to go and check it out and do so. I like Tammy. She's, she's, she seems like a good person. So anyway, on that note, I'm going to go and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.